What do you think is the, is the actor's relationship to a director? Is the director your boss? Is the director your leader, your guide, or your enemy in some cases? For a long time, the director was my enemy. But I finally found that if I was accepting a part, I had to accept the director too. If I didn't want the director, then I didn't take the part. Mm -hmm. But that only accrued after a long period of learning. Uh, it's uh, certainly true now, I will do something if, if I, I feel physically able, but a lot has to do with who is directing it and who's going to be in it with me. And what can a director give you that helps you and when does a director become an impediment? <laughs> well, then as you like it, for instance. Uh, <clears throat> Well, let's take John Wood, for instance, uh, when we were doing Henry V, and I was playing the chorus for the second time, because I had done it originally with Michael Langham. John Wood can be very strenuous on actors. And he came to me and he said, Bill, I want you to play the um, narrator. And I said, John, what do you have in mind? He said, well, an old soldier, a veteran, will be the narrator. That I said, yes, I can see myself that way. He said, well, will you accept it? Well, I said, I want no surprises. I've done it before. I know it, and I know what I can do with it, And, but don't surprise me. And he never did. By surprise, you mean? Suddenly say, this is being done in the 60s. <laughs> And the music is by the bare naked ladies. What? 